Let's take a look at selection tools. Hey everyone, welcome to our second tutorial in Pixlr, a free web-based program that allows you to edit images. It's a lot like Photoshop. If you missed our first video, you can check out the link in the description. So let's take a look at how we might select different areas of our image that we want to edit. And we're going to start with just this basic one here, the marquee tool. Now you'll notice that when I click on that tool, uh, the options up here changed for that tool. So I can make a square, I can make a circle, and here's what happens. I click and I drag across here, and now this area is the area that's selected. So why would I want to do that? Well, when I make changes now, like let's say I take this paintbrush tool here and I'm going to make it bigger. Um, when I make changes now, it's only going to make changes in the selection. See, so as I click and drag and I start painting, it's only going to paint over the area that I have selected. So that is why uh, we would use a selection tool to just edit areas that we want to move. Uh, by the way, we have a move tool here. What that allows you to do is take the selection and move it around. So that's another one of our selection tools. Uh, let's take a look at a different selection tool. We've got this lasso here. Now what the lasso allows you to do is literally draw what you want to have selected. So I'm going to zoom in on someone. Let's say this person here and zoom out just a little bit. And let's say I wanted to remove them from the picture. So what I would do is I would start to draw with the lasso tool around this person. And then I'd come around here and then around his head. So you can see that I'm drawing. And now if I really cared about this picture, I'd obviously be taking more time to do this better. But when I'm done and I come back to where I started, now you'll notice this person is selected. And again, if I make an edit, let's say I hit delete, the only thing that's going to be deleted is that person. So that's our second selection tool, the lasso tool. Uh, we've got one more selection tool to look at. I'm going to go ahead and undo all that. And we've got this magic wand. Now what the magic wand allows you to do is select anything in a given color. So let's say I just wanted to select the pitch down here. I could click right there and you notice it selected a lot of the green just by clicking on it. Here's the thing though, it didn't select all of the green, like this area right here that was really light, it didn't select. So what I can do then is up the tolerance a bit, maybe let's try 48, and click anyway, click there or there. I'm still not quite getting all of it, right? So I could up the tolerance again to let's say 64. So what it's doing is it'll select more. Now you'll notice, well now I'm getting some of these people down here and I don't want that. So bump the tolerance down to 52. And let's go ahead and unselect it and now reselect it all. And see, I'm still getting some people. So I'm gonna bounce the tolerance down a little bit more. So, yeah, that's going to, no, I'm still getting people. Where was I when I wasn't getting people? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. If I zoom in here and I drag across, no, it's just going around the outline of the people. I'm sorry. So, but you'll notice these areas right out here didn't get selected. What if I want to select them? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the shift button and you'll notice that when I hit the shift button, it added a plus sign next to the tool. That's because I'm now adding to my selection. So when I click here, you'll notice, oh, now I've got all of this selected. 
And if I zoom out a little bit, um, let's say I want to make sure that this area over here is also selected. I hit shift and I click and now that area is selected as well. So that's how the magic wand tool works. It tries to pick up as much of one color as possible. So now you have three different ways that you can make selections in your images. You can use the marquee tool here to make a square or a circle. You've got the magic wand, or I'm sorry, the lasso tool here that allows you to draw whatever kind of selection you want. And we have the magic wand tool that allows you to select images of one color. We also took a look at this move tool that allows you to move whatever is selected. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please consider hitting like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.